Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech John and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a couple of great films that hopefully should show off your QLED or OLED display to their very finest. Now some of you guys may have seen my previous videos where I recommended some films from the Mega Movie Week. Um, this is now all finished, so these are just some recommendations of films that I've purchased outside of the Mega Movie Week, which uh, you may enjoy. So along with movies, what I'm going to be doing in future videos is also recommending some um, TV series and things like that from streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime and content that is in 4K, um, HDR, HDR10+, and Dolby Vision. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, then uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, those videos should be coming very soon. Right, I think it's about time now that we uh, crack on with the recommendations. Right, so the first film that I'm going to recommend to you guys today is Life of Pi. Now, I expect most of you guys would have seen this, but if you haven't seen it, why haven't you seen it? It is a great film visually, um, absolute masterpiece really. And to be honest, it complements any TV, doesn't matter how cheap and nasty it might be. You know, it's just one of those films, it just looks great anyway. But if you have got a QLED or an OLED, it just takes it to that next level. So, uh, Let's have a quick look at the specs on this one. So this one is 4K and uh, just regular HDR. Fortunately, no Dolby Vision on this one. And I think it would have uh, really benefited from it, really. And uh, just uh, for any of you guys uh, who don't follow the channel, I have got my Samsung. No, I haven't got my Samsung. What am I talking about? I have now actually got my LG B8 up on the wall. This is the 65 inch version. And uh, all these recommendations are from my Apple 4K TV box. Um, they are available, obviously, from uh, other uh, providers and that. But um, as I always say, it seems to be that Apple do the best selection of 4K and HDR uh, content. Right, so uh, let's have a look at some of the uh, standout moments in this film. So, first standout moment for the life of Pi starts at roughly the 25 second mark, I believe it is. Or is it 30 second? 25 or 30 second mark. And yeah, it's basically the intro to the film and we see some wildlife. And yeah, it looks stunning on both TVs, both a QLED and an OLED. Again, I've tried this film out on both my uh, B8 OLED and my Samsung Q90R. So I know what I'm talking about because I've compared them side by side. And yeah, this intro looks just as good on uh, both TVs. If anything, maybe um, a little bit sharper on the QLED because the QLED generally is just a bit of a sharper image. And because it's uh, not very fast moving uh, images, it probably, yeah, just looks maybe that little bit crisper maybe on the QLED. Um, but don't get me wrong, you know, it still looks nice and vibrant as well as you've got the uh, nice dark levels there and the brightness. So that, you know, comes through very well on the OLED as well. Uh, so this scene goes on for a little while, but yeah, it just looks really, really nice. One thing I will say that um, where the QLED does let down a bit is to do with the text. And that's something I'll bring up again at the end of this uh, recommendation. And I'm going to cover in my worst things about it video. It's, uh, it's a bit of a... Uh, thing that bugs me a bit with the uh, QLED when it comes to text, but like I said, we'll deal with that uh, more later anyway. So let's uh, move on to the next recommendation. Next standout part is at roughly the one hour, 11 minutes and 56 seconds. And yeah, this looks absolutely stunning. Now I've got to be honest with you, this, is one for the OLEDs. Um, sorry, QLED owners. Yeah, it still looks nice, but this is a scene where the OLEDs just absolutely shine. It just looks jaw-dropping, quite frankly. Um, 
The stars are just really, really bright. You have the real dark levels there, then you've got the brightness down here, and it's just something that the QLED doesn't seem to handle as well. You know, you have it sort of fluctuate in the brightness a little bit, and it's just not consistent on a QLED, where the OLED is just consistent with the brightness when it needs to be bright on those stars and really dark on those dark, dark parts. And you've just got to say, it, it is just mind blowing how good it looks. It's just a jaw dropping uh, bit of footage. Uh, again, goes on for a little while, and uh, yeah, you've, it's just a must watch. So uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it is okay on the QLED, but this scene, it's just a runaway one for the OLED. Right, let's uh, move on to the next one. Next up is a scene that starts at roughly the, let's have a, have a look, one hour and 39 minutes. I've gone on a little bit further than that, but that's when it starts from. And yeah, again, we get some really good contrasty parts. And uh, this is another one for the OLED again. I've got to say, this film uh, does seem to favour the OLED because there are so many nice standout bits like this. Again, as you can see here, we've got all these, um, I don't know, it's fireflies or something like that maybe. And they are just really, really bright. And then in between it, you've got those deep, dark levels. Again, the QLED didn't seem to handle this scene quite as well, add a little bit of bloom and that to it, uh, where this was just spot on with the OLED. And if I just move on slightly more for, a, I'll have to watch it because of copyright reasons, there we go. And again, this, well, do I have to say anything really? Look how good that looks. Again, you've got this brightness here. Sorry about the bar stuck up there. I don't know why that is. Um, again, you've got the bright stars, black sky, and it just is a visual treat. I mean, hopefully that will come across um, on camera to uh, you guys. But yeah, in person, it looks absolutely stunning. Now, the final thing that I want to recommend to you guys is right at the end of the film, and it's the credits. Now, this might sound a bit of a weird thing to recommend, but again, on the OLED screen, it just looks absolutely amazing. Again, the text is so bright and it's so well defined. Perfect blacks by the side of it. Then you've got like these symbols or whatever. Again, they are just like pin sharp, real vibrant against the perfectly back black background should I say. Now as I mentioned earlier there's a bit of a uh, bugbear with me with the uh, Q90R when it comes to text and that is like the fluctuation in brightness. Um, it is up and down like a pair of knickers and it just drives me bonkers. Um, when you get like certain scenes like say this what you will find is that the edges of the text will dim down so like that end will be darker this end will be darker but in the middle will be bright i'm guessing that's just sort of the way that the uh way the tv handles it it has to uh sort of compensate at the ends because if it brightens it up too much and just knock that back on um you'd get too much blooming and i'm guessing what it does is just dim the, down those sort of leds nearer the ends and i've messed around with the settings and that and i just i can't get it to uh work properly and yeah it, you know it might sound a bit of a stupid thing but it it's just something that really stands out and even my family members have noticed it that it just looks a bit odd to be honest like i said i'm going to show it in more details in more detail in my worst things about it video for the um, Q90R. So uh, watch out for that and I'll actually give you some proper demonstrations of it because obviously this is my OLED so I can't show you at the moment. Right, let's uh, move on to the next film. Right, the next film recommendation I have for you guys is The Revenant. Now this film can be picked up really cheap normally around the £2.99, £3.99 mark. If it does go up in price, I would just recommend waiting around uh, as it always does end up dropping. So uh, that is me tip there for you guys. And uh, let's have a look at the specs. So this film is 4K and 
HDR. Right, so let's uh, fire up the film and uh, I'll give you some recommendations for standout parts. The first standout moment that looks great on an OLED or a QLED is at roughly the 1 minute and 20 second mark. And uh, that's where it starts from, goes on for a little while again. And yeah, it's just very contrasty, looks really, really nice. And I'd say it's a bit of a draw between the QLED and the OLED on this because the dark scene completely black. Um, so the QLED is able to handle it and it does a great job with the brightness. And uh, yeah, that just continues with this scene for a little while. It's just very contrasty and uh, very cinematic, should I say. So let's uh, move on to the next bit. Right, the next part starts at roughly the 1 hour and 19, I think it's 1 hour 19, yeah, 1 hour 19 mark. Um, very short bit, but um, looks great on the QLED, this one, you have, uh, I think it's a meteorite coming across, and it's just really intensively bright, it splits up, a uh, bit goes off different way and yeah just looks really really nice against the sky and that and uh just a bit that caught me eye and i thought is worth mentioning so let's uh crack on and uh get on to the next bit right the next standout part starts at roughly the one hour and 58 minutes and 30 seconds i think it is and yeah i do apologize i've just realized that i actually had the the uh film zoomed in like that um, so if you are watching it on a Apple TV box, make sure uh, you haven't got it zoomed in like that. Uh, so yeah, apologies for that, but it shouldn't make any difference anyway, because like I said, these are just recommendations. But yeah, so this part, again, looks really great on the QLED and the OLED at this bit. Um, you've got some very bright sort of uh, flames going on here, or torches, whatever you want to call them. And just look nice and contrasty and really pop off the screen. When the scene does move on though, and it gets even more brighter, um, which I will just sort of move on to now. Excuse my camera's exposure there. Um, but yeah, we get some scenes like this. Well, I've not paused it very well there. You have to forgive me, a bit blurry that bit. But um, I can't play the film properly because of copyright reasons. But anyway, when it moves on a bit, Again, I've got to say, it favours the QLED, uh, sorry, the OLED. Oh, I'm getting me QLEDs and OLEDs all mixed up today. It's because I've had the TVs up and down off the wall. I can't keep up, up with it myself. But anyway, yeah, it looks um, really, really nice on the OLED and obviously just favours it that little bit more. As you can see here, again, with the, the, uh, the brightness on his face and the uh, nice dark levels, it just uh, really stands out and looks a treat. So, there you have it then guys. Big apologies if I've messed up and I've said a QLED and OLED the wrong way around when referring to things, but I'm sure you understand what I'm getting at uh, at different points in the films there. Like I said, it's just simply because I keep swapping the TVs backwards and forwards all the time and I keep forgetting which one I've actually got up on the, uh, on the wall and obviously QLED and OLED are so alike with the names that it gets a bit uh, tongue twisted and messes with your head a bit. So anyway, apologies for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.